you talk about anger more, right? Well, I talk no, about No, I don't. See that you no, don't. I well, don't. you talked about like your daughter saying like daddy, your daughter kind of intervening, right? You did that joke at Red Yeah, Rocks. yeah, she had a great one one day. She just goes, "Dad, can you stop being mad now?" And I just laughed and I go, "All right." But yeah. I don't get like uh I don't get mad at them. They're too cute and funny. But you know, I get into it with my wife. I mean, I definitely do that. But then my daughter's always like, "Can you guys stop?" She calls it squabbling. Great. And then we just stop and uh but I'm I'm really good about not having a lot of those because I hated those when I was a kid and they really fucked me up. Fights? Yeah. Parental fights? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they really fuck a kid up. And like when I was watching like a one-sided sort of beating verbally just yeah. yeah and you just learn all these really bad things you think it's avoidable because i similar position and then i would find myself kind of doing the same thing in arguments <laughs> like no it, it's it's apologizing and taking accountability is a huge thing like i hate to say this but this morning mm-hmm. my son was driving up the wall me up the wall and he kept going like, I want to listen to ACDC, dad, I want to listen to ACDC, <laughs> right? Which is awesome. He yeah. does this whole Angus impression and I'm trying to make him waffles. And then you pick the song and he's going, this isn't the song. Yeah. The da, 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 da. And I finally just said, I, you know, I'm like, I go, geez, I go, will you shut up? I'm going to do it or whatever. And then, you know, my daughter's like, don't say as up to And I immediately felt bad. And then, but then, you know, like a minute later. I, I said to him, sorry I said that, or whatever. Yeah, then whereas of course, there was Nia never. Goes, I heard you say that. I just, you know, they always got they always got to get like the. Yeah. Like, like if, if I heard her do that and then she apologized, yeah, then I would be over. thinking, good. That's, yeah. that's a beautiful thing. She's an adult. Did, what about with Nia? Because that's the thing. Like, I, I was finding my, I don't have kids. I'm involved with a kid now, but longer story. But like the i would find myself with exes doing moves that my dad would do my dad who i didn't like and i'd be like fuck i'm doing nobody that. liked our their dad yeah. from our generation you now you you're more sympathetic to him right i mean i let a lot of shit go yeah but like the you know the information didn't exist back then no and it's just not something that's going to be resolved like that generation it, they're like a satellite. They have like a, you know, they, they there's a course that was set and they're sent off and that's it. And you realize that unless somebody wants to or can even acknowledge that what yeah. they're doing because the previous generation's big, oh, that never happened. It wasn't that bad. Well, when you have a family, you fucking do it perfect. Like that's yeah. the best you're going to get. I kind of feel like they were better than their parents. 100% there. That whole bullshit kind of, about the greatest generation. Yeah. And then everybody just, uh, they're the greatest. What? Because Tom Brokaw said it. One guy says that, and then that becomes the greatest generation. If you look at where race relations were, the greatest generation, he's talking about World War II, simultaneously, like uh, segregation was going on, brutal segregation. Top of the charts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the charts, segregation, right? And it's just like, yeah, and he's sitting there. It's a very compartmentalized white way of looking at a certain moment in history and just yeah, being I like, these were guys great. Were, were the greatest. Well, maybe with the information they had or whatever, but there was a lot of things that were going on back then that uh, that weren't great. Weren't a lot great. of things that, that are coming back. Like you just saw in, Ar- like in Arkansas, they made it okay for a 13-year-old to go work in a factory. Yeah. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to fire their parents that are full-time with benefits, and then you got to compete with your own kid. They, they have so exhausted sweatshop labor around the world and we've all ignored it here because it didn't mm-hmm. affect us and that now they're gonna they're gonna bring it back here but it's not gonna work one of the advantages i have is i don't i haven't forgot what it's like to be a kid mm-hmm. so how like, would you categorize it because i would categorize I, it as scary being yeah, a kid. so my thing is if my daughter is putting on an outfit and she doesn't like it the fucking outfit's gone yeah you can't go to school questioning your outfit because the sharks come, okay? So they're, and they're already gonna come. I don't need to be putting chum in the water by sticking her in the wrong outfit. So I'm like, you don't like this? All right, you don't like your hair like that? You want it up in a bun? I'll do that. You want pigtails? You know, um, yeah, I learned how to do her hair and all of that type of stuff. And then with my son, you know, he gets really into, uh, you know, certain shirts and stuff like that. So, you know, if that's what he wants to wear, you know, if that's what he wants to wear, that's what he's going to wear. Like, I, 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 
I do stuff like that. And then I just tell them, um, you know, I tell them all the time. Like I tell my daughter all the time. I go, you're a really strong person, you know? And, you know, some, and, uh, and she's also a really nice person. So a lot of times, you know, when, if a kid does something mean, you know, her questions are like, why? Right. Which is such a sweet question. Like, why would you do that? How would you do that? And then, you know, like most your experience as a parent, your kid asks you a question and you don't have an answer. <laughs> could you explain? Could you but go? You, no, I would literally just be like, why do kids do that? And I just, I would, I would answer that question. I don't know. But unfortunately, it's one of those things that you have to deal with and you have to understand that that has nothing to do with you. Yeah. And that's them. They're probably sad or whatever. They're not, they're not getting enough. They're not getting something at home or whatever. Or maybe they're just a jerk. I wouldn't say asshole, but like, um, you know, she's almost, she's starting to get to that, be that age. And I'd be like, and you know, half the game of life is learning how to deal with people like that. Do you see not, things not of yourself you in her the way she takes shit on? And you're 100%, like, yep. oh, fuck, we got to get ahead of this. No, not like that. I just, not even in a bad I, way. No, I, just, I, I just see like her personality trait. Her personality is more me, where it takes her longer to jump into the pool, where my son is more like my wife, where my wife, you know, will baby step, baby step. But when she jumps in, it's like right in. Um, but not in a pool. She's one of those people that goes in really slow. And I always like laugh at her going like, well, you've, you've made, turned this into a 15 minute torture process. You just like jump in. And she's just like, just shut up and let me do it how I do it. You know, it's hilarious. So no, we're both in a great place right now. Cause we're, I'm just sort of looking back at like, we've just had so many laughs and so many good times. And like, you know, my wife used to come on my podcast all the time before we have kids, but we have kids. So, I mean, somebody has to watch the kids when I'm on the podcast. So she doesn't come on as much, but like, I was always proud, like so many people would be like, I want to have a relationship like that because, uh, you know, my wife's just as funny as I am. She's fucking hilarious. I run stuff by her and if I make her laugh or I piss her off, I go, that, that's going in the act. <laughs> well, yeah, but if she goes like, oh, or wah, wah, or whatever, I know it's not good. And then it also, it hurts. Yeah. Because I, I love her. So like, I really value her opinion. But I also love her even more that she doesn't sugarcoat if she doesn't think, you know, you know, something's fine. I mean, obviously I don't run everything. Sure. Fire, uh, despite what some racists think. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen. Thank you.